a charity clothes swap. It's a good idea. Yeah, it's tomorrow on Victoria Street. It's probably not your thing. I know I'm a total style icon, but I love a bargain as much as the next woman. Mm, well, I will see you there. And if you've got any clothes to donate, then even better. Oh, I've got this pair of green paisley collots stuffed in a drawer somewhere. I bought them in a moment of madness. You know how it is. I'll see you then. See you. Budgie smugglers, really? Yeah, should have seen me. Strutting up and down Nicky Beach in Ibiza, giving it some. Oh, please, no. You'd struggle to fit a small bread roll in there, let alone anything else. Why would he be putting a bread roll down his swimming cap? Got a leopard print thong in there somewhere. A second-hand thong? Seriously? Yeah, I think Daniel's right. I'm not sure these are the right calibre for a clothes swap. So you're saying my stuff's so bad you can't even give it away? Well, I'm just lucky I've got more wardrobes to raid. Billy's, Todd's... Daniel? Hey, No, no, I'm giving you all of Bertie's old stuff. That's your lot. I'll tell you what's top of the list. Is Minion Brown Cardigan with the leather at elbow patches? Yes, Daniel's not Bertie's. It's not him, is it? Aaron? Uh, no, it's Esther, the clothes swap lady, just asking me to meet her in the community centre. Wish it was him. You know he's no good for you. Just do yourself a favour, try and forget about him, yeah? Right. Let's go back to yours. Get plunder in your wardrobe. Oh, do we have to? It's for charity, babes. Give a little. Oh, I'm staying put. Had enough insults for one day. Hey, you forgot to take me stuff. Well, you're all right, Paul. Maybe just burn it. Oh. You know, I'm starting to wish that you hadn't watched this Marie Kondo programme. I'm gonna do mine as well. Depressingly, there is a bunch of stuff that I can't fit into from last year. I reckon it's the art part at work. You know, I couldn't stand it when I first started, and now I can't stop eating it. You ought to put weight on it, be Paul. Who have shrunk it when he did a wash. What's that? I told you that Sinead was well into recycling clothes, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you said she wanted to open up a vintage store. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe it's time to pass on the rest of her stuff. I think that is entirely your decision. Thank you. Whoa, how many old man caddies have you got? They're not all mine. Well, I brought some more too. Hopefully I have an acceptable standard this time. Hang on one sec. Honestly, guys, I am blown away. Thank you. And I am definitely going to try and get first dibs on your stuff. You always wear amazing clothes. Oh, thank you. Um, but this isn't actually... She's not done hers yet. I will. This is mostly Sinead's old stuff. Oh, uh, only if you're sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I mean, it's only clothes, isn't it? And for a good cause, so. Oh, go on, then. Put this in and all. <laughs> Is that you? Yep. It's my unicorn onesie. Like he says, it's for a good cause. Mm. Oh, uh, um, uh, th thank you. Do you think anyone would actually... Absolutely not. But if you ever want him to have another boyfriend, you need to take that and never let him have it back. Yeah, good call. Mm. <laughs> yeah? <gasps> oh, flipping yes! Oh, what's up with her? Absolutely no idea. Oh, I love you, Ryan. Ryan? Part-time waiter and DJ. About 30 years younger than her. Oh, no wonder she's happy. Right, OK, yeah, 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 I I'll bring it over to yours. Oh, thank you, sweetheart, I owe you big time. Oh. Right, I've got this uh, rare acid house vinyl, and uh, Ryan's taking it to a fair for me. You'll never guess how much it's worth. How much? 600 quid. Nice! It's a rare pressing. Oh, what does that mean? I've no idea. Wait, yes, I do. It means it's worth 600 quid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 